first put the gear into neutral position. Whether with maintenance work or with an empty gear, this works best and safest with the gear's mechanical emergency switch. Now unscrew the two bleed valves of the circuit. The cones of the valve may show no distortions. If that is the case, the valves must be exchanged. Check the valves closely and clean the parts thoroughly. Afterwards, reattach the valves. Now the bleed hose must be emptied and filled. Connect one side of the bleed hose with the bleeding device. Connect the other side with the wire adapter from the adapter set and connect the end to the container. The glass part of the bleed hose shows whether the bubbles are still in the hose. Keep the device on until no more bubbles are to be seen. Now switch off the device and connect both ends to the bleed hose in the valves of the gear and gate cylinder of the gear shift. In the front, under the servicing flap, the return hose is connected to the bleed fitting. On the other side, it must be connected to the canister. Clamp the hose under the left wiper blade. Run it up the windshield so you can observe the flow of the hydraulic fluid from the driver's seat. Now the screws and the bleed valves are opened at least one rotation. Now the bleeding device is switched on, but don't forget to set the correct pressure. In the dial, the pressure is set to between 2.5 and 3 bar. Follow the instructions of the device manufacturer. Afterwards, the gear shift must be moved. From neutral position, the lever is moved along the gate from left to right. Hold the lever at both end points about 30 seconds. Observe the hose. Bubbles should flow along the hose. Then move the lever quickly from right to left up to the end point. Afterwards bring it once more into the final positions and hold in each case for 20 seconds. Observe the hose. No more bubbles should flow along the hose. With the same process the gear is also aired. This time the gear shift is moved forward and back between third and fourth gear. Also here the gear shift must be held in each case 30 seconds at both end points. Then move the lever once again in quick succession, several times, up to the final position. Afterwards hold both final positions again for 20 seconds. Do this until no more air bubbles are to be seen in the hose. When there is no more air to be seen, the bleed screws and bleed valves are closed once again. Now you can switch off the bleeding device so that the gear can center itself and you can check whether the bleeding was successful. Move the gear shifter in all directions in rapid succession several times. The gear shift must be moved at least 10 times to the left and right and forward and back. If the gears are not exact or the change is too soft or both, then the gears must be aired once more. Only now after a successful bleeding is the bleed hose disconnected and don't forget to put back the protective caps. Cleanliness is of course of the utmost importance. If the hydraulic fluid leaks out, it must be therefore cleaned up. Lift the driver's cab because now the liquid in the balance container must be brought to the correct level. 
With the suction pump, remove the hydraulic fluid until the liquid is between the minimum and maximum mark. The driver's cab can be brought down again. Lastly, remove the hose from the bleed fixture under the front flap. 